Chris here and welcome back to a video that is a little bit different here from me. Now Grid, they recently got in touch with me, Grid Studio, and said would I like to do a video on these products here. And when I saw them I thought definitely yes because I think it's actually quite cool what they're doing. So what Grid does is they take your old favorite, say an old phone that you love but of course it's very dated and there's no way you'd be using it in 2021, like the iPhone 4S for example or the iPhone 3S and they put it in a frame, they frame it, they actually do a bit of a teardown on the phones, on the devices that they sell on their website and display it in a very nice manner inside this frame that I think looks really cool. So they sent out two of them to me here, I have the iPhone 4S to unbox and show exactly what it looks like and the Blackberry Bold 9000. And yes, just a disclaimer here that this video is sponsored by Grid. All right, so this model here I'm first looking at is the iPhone 4S, at least it should be, it's the larger frame from them. So very nice packaging, this is how it will come presented if you were to order one of these. You can see Grid Frame Art Studio, nice little seal here. I do like the way they've done this. So a wooden frame with a black backing on it, and there's a couple of places you can see they've got hooks, which is good, so that's for putting it up on a wall. And let's get this flipped around. So there we go, iPhone 4S, and there's a protective plastic here that I'm just gonna remove that is over the top of this. Here we have the iPhone in all its glory here, tear down complete with all of the parts labeled, and I absolutely love the way they have done this, it's so clear. So we've got the screen right there, the internal frame, and that's just the glass on the back. And you can see our rear camera here, the headphone socket back when iPhones used to have the headphones, and most phones have lost that, of course, now. You can even see the volume up and down buttons there, the flex cable, a vibration motor, so that seems actually relatively large now. The different round vibration motor, most of the time they're rectangular that I see, at least in the Android phones that I've teared down myself. Power button here at the top, our earpiece, the SIM tray holder, the front camera, and there's that screen with the home button, and of course those super large top and bottom bezels that we had back then. Now you can see that I've just got a little statement right here as well too, that the 4S planted the seeds of what we now consider common knowledge, the smartphone really isn't just a phone. And there is this quote here from Steve Jobs that they have printed onto it as well. If you're a big Steve Jobs fan or Apple fan, you would love this then. You can't connect the dots looking forward. You can only connect them looking backwards. So you have to trust that the dots will somehow connect in your future. And then down the bottom here, you can see part of the antenna right there, our speaker, and we have the battery here, which is quite small, very small actually compared to today's standards. And a quick look at it here, at another angle, there's the A5 chipset, and there's the SIM card reader, which is just below it. And the second phone that Grid sent out to me is this here, the BlackBerry Bold 9000. Different style this one, so we have the black matte background, and it doesn't stand out, of course, as much with the white, and the fact that the phone itself is black, and the contrast there is not so in your face, and I like having all the different parts labeled. But it is very clear that you can see what is what here. We've got our main board here, and of course, the infamous QWERTY keyboard. So many people that had a work phone would have had one of these back in the day because of that QWERTY keyboard. And they were just the business phone that everyone was getting back then were the Blackberries. Now this one is a Rogers branded one, I can see. And the frame is pretty much flawless, apart from I can see a tiny little mark just down here. The iPhone 4S, the same. The frame and the quality of the used phone, of course, that they are recycling and presenting in the frame is very good condition. You can't really see too much wear on this keyboard. In fact, I can't see any shininess on that keyboard at all. It's a barely new used BlackBerry 9000 that they have in this frame, which is good to see. So both of these framed phones are presented quite differently. The darker background here of the BlackBerry Bold 9000. It looks good and I like the way it is laid out. It's a smaller frame. However, I don't think it comes anywhere close to the way the iPhone 4S looks like here. This one I think is absolutely fantastic the way they've done it. Everything laid out in this full like tear down with all the parts labeled looks really good. We've got a quote here down the bottom from Steve Jobs and then a small phrase up the top there about the iPhone 4S. Now they do have high quality frames that they've used, good wooden frames, and of course they're not very heavy. They're only the weight of just the wood here and then the phone itself which is not a lot. So that's okay. Now they have them glued into the place, all the different parts, and what did surprise me is 
these have come all the way from the US to me here in Europe, Spain, and I thought, well, maybe one of these parts might have broken off in transit, but no, they've got some really strong super glue holding everything there into place. Now, the parts themselves, the phones, used phones, of course, but in very, very good condition because I was surprised to see the QWERTY keyboard on this BlackBerry Bold has had hardly any use. It's not all shiny and worn as it would be with someone typing away on them if they'd used it a lot, that is. And then the frame of the iPhone 4S, it only has one minor little mark here and there. So it's very, very small. So they are really good condition used phones. And then of course we're recycling these phones. So instead of both of these winding up in a tip in someone's rubbish bin and, and just go into the rubbish before you've gone, no, they've been reused and displayed now as, well, a piece of history, a piece of phone history. Now they do have various other different models on their website, of course. There's the 3GS, the 5, iPhone 5, 5S, and various other models uh, once they have stock of them. And even the PlayStation Portable, which I would really love to have. And that, in fact, that was one of the ones I asked for, was the PSP. But sadly, they didn't have any stock of it at the time of doing this video here. Now, I do hope that they add to their collection various other handhelds as well. Say the Game Boy, Game Boy Advanced, uh, the Game Gear, and the Atari Lynx. Atari Lynx was one that I played a long time ago when I was a kid. And I would love to see that also in a frame like this presented as, well, just a collector's item, I think is a really good idea. So thank you so much for watching this video here on these framed phones from Grid Studio. I do hope you like this different video from me and I hope to see you back in the channel with more up and coming videos. Bye for now.